and this is today's topic today it's gratitude that's your number one mindset changer and number 14 of my mindset challenge what i have learned from bob proctor life may up may go up or down but gratitude is an attitude it is essential to your success and i'm highlighting why being grateful is in my opinion the top attitude and what are the benefits of gratitude that make it the number one game changer for putting you into a higher frequency and how should you practice gratefulness every day what are useful tips into for your best life set and uh, yeah so today i would uh, actually follow up on what i have been doing yesterday because yesterday was all on the topic of attitude attitude what is attitude and uh, let me before i go into the attitude and i do the follow up do a little bit, a recap of what was happening the last two weeks basically in this mindset challenge so the idea is to start with thinking rather than aiming for the mere result the goals is the next topic what is important what is the importance of goals what is your worthy ideal then paradigms why is it such an impact on our habitual behavior and then results how do paradigms in this way hold us back and how to achieve that results that you really want and purpose your purpose is really what you like to do can you really pursue it and turn it into your life visions and goals be do have it explains why you should be thought driven than results driven superpowers there are perception will and imagination memory reason and intuition how can you use and develop them the day one eight decision the power of decision making it is that it sends a clear message to your subconscious instead of ambivalence knowing doing gap why is it that we are knowing what to do but so rarely doing it self-image why is it the center puzzle piece for your mindset and um, and progress the law of compensation sense of urgency what makes super achievers great how can we de develop their qualities persistence that's the essential element in achieving your goals and combat rejections and obstacles and attitude yesterday your attitude is the composite of thoughts feelings and actions you must be in alignment for exponential growth and today da da da, da so that is this here it is on gratitude so when i am talking about gratitude it's the start that i heard here from uh, bob proctor and i'm remembering bob proctor with this mindset challenge and this life challenge for the next for the next 16 days um, bob proctor he is a leader uh, and legend of self-development and i think what's so important and so yeah something we can be really grateful for is that he brought all the pieces together of course there has been a puzzle here and the book has written there and great uh, minds of course have written something but i think what bob proctor did is that he gave us a compounded knowledge uh, about how to really achieve the life that we really want and so this is why i'm doing this and so if you get this or that that is interesting and inspiring for you that's the aim of my uh, of my life that i'm doing here um, when you could uh, be eating a cake in the afternoon in uh, Geneva, Central Europe. And cake is a good example because it brings us also to gratitude. Um, life is not flat. We all know this. We have our ups and downs. Sometimes it goes better. Sometimes it goes not so good. And most of the times we are a little bit in between, right? So it's... Uh, not possible to have all super good duper days uh, and your life consistency um, is of course managing these ambiguities but if uh, you consciously take the time to be graceful great grateful for your life and make gratitude and all the time thing then you have 
implemented your number one game changer for in going into a better frequency. And yesterday I have started with this big subject and it was it was a massive thing. So I'm I'm still thinking about it. And that's of course also so great to have the opportunity to show this to you. Yesterday, this is what I have been doing. I have shown you uh, also a cake. And um, because why is that cake coming here? Uh, and here, what it has to do with gratitude? Because gratitude is like, so is an attitude as well. It is, I would say, one of the most important attitudes that you can have. And if we go into your uh, into attitude, it is always the attitude towards your life, which will determine your life's attitude towards yourself. And attitude is, here we go with the cake, the composite of thoughts, feelings and actions. So Bob Proctor said it's like a cake. So you have to, yeah, so you can... Uh, you can never really say life uh, so that is uh, you have very good thoughts and therefore you are successful you have very good like uh, you are in a great vibration and uh, you're doing good actions and therefore you are having success uh, or successful results no it is the composite of the three you the thoughts the feelings and the actions and so this is why this cake metaphor uh, came into reality and so number one attitude is gratitude and so why is that so or how can you explain it in the way of thinking of uh, like um, the mindset uh, and uh, the yeah, how, how can we say this actually a mindset philosophy maybe so here we go mind is movement in every cell or body and to make this here, to show this a little bit better, I will just quickly get here this away because otherwise you can see a little bit. Hold on, do. Yeah, so you have your thoughts, your feelings, and your action. And this is exemplified by, exemplified by this here, the stick person that was brought into action by Thurman Fleet in 1934. He thought about that and he thought, okay, the mind is not consisting only of the conscious part. It's also a subconscious part. So you have the conscious part in on top that resembles the thoughts. Then you have the subconscious part, which is the head, the down, the lower part of the head, the feelings. And then you have the body, which is in a vibration and then that goes into the actions and the actions go into the results and let me quickly have a look if I can get this here together I have let's do a quick pause here we go like and subscribe I just want to get rid of this little thing here, but it's obviously not doing it. So what is written below here is that as we express our attitude, the world reacts to us and it is the, yeah, circums. So we are creating the circumstance and environment through our actions and whether we are in this right movement and the right vibration that decides whether the right results come to us and the environment in this regard is our mirror so many like in, in, a, in an article that i quoted yesterday there was this uh, this thought so many lost sales opportunities missed careers bad relationships because we expect the others to change instead of us changing our poor attitudes and our attitudes are our thoughts, actions, uh, feelings and actions. So what can we do to develop a better attitudes? First, develop a good attitude towards yourself or attitude towards ourselves, right? So we can demand something that we don't have. So we have to lead with by example. And then the second thing is that doing things in a certain way. So that what does that mean? So bringing ourselves in the yeah already 
either in the state that we say we act like we have already the state fulfilled of our good or desired attitude or we of course also constantly bring ourselves into the right mindsets and um, in the right thoughts and create the images and the thoughts that will then trickle down in the subconscious part basically and how to do it that is what i can show you right now and this is on the one hand hold on i'll just do okay just have to unlock here something was already in the state of lockdown. I still have a lockdown here, even though there are not masks, but I have an iPad that was locked. So what I wanted to show you here, and let's go into a good state of mind and just think of it, how it would be, how we can change our mindset. And so I am showing you now here the stick person again. Let's go for it. this year. This is the, normally this should be nicer. Here we have the head that resembles the mind. We have the body part that is here. So interesting. And then let me show you that is the constant, the conscious mind here and the subconscious mind. And here we have the body and now the idea is any picture you want. You imagine the good that you, you desire, any picture you want on the screen of your mind. Then imagine that the idea is going down in your subconscious mind and here you really feel that your so in this in this idea so that your body is your mind is all connected so every cell of your body is connected so you also imagine this new idea trickling down in every cell basically and so you feel it that it goes in every cell so, and the idea is that the more often that you do it and the more yeah, you come into this vibration, so you will also have your body coming into the right vibration and to go into the desired action and then receive and achieve the results. And the idea is to bring yourself really constantly in a a state of mind where you start with the thinking and then you try to go into the feeling and emotional level and get yourself in the right vibration basically so and this is what doing things in a certain way means so because at the end you are uh, so you are also acting in this in this way you want to be as um, in your attitude and then the actions trigger the feelings as well and so that is a quote that i've already shown yesterday before you can do something you must first be something so bring yourself into this state and then act like it's so why is the attitude number one the gratitude let's go into this and highlight it a little bit more in detail and i want to show you of course what you can do to practice attitude on your on your own how to practice it every day and yeah what are the benefits basically so let's go into it so what's gratitude gratitude is more than an action just to say okay thank you thank you because we hear this when, with with children right so when they receive something when they receive a gift a chocolate or so we say okay how do you say it's ah thank you so that's actually not the whole thing of gratefulness here so the idea is that there is an action and a feeling involved and a deeper appreciation for something or someone 
And the effects really can be measured scientifically because it sort of brings somebody in another vibration and it produces longer lasting positivity. And there are two stages of gratitude. First comes the acknowledgement of goodness in one's life. In a state of gratitude, we say yes to life. We affirm that it all in all, in all life is good. It has its element that make worth living and are rich in texture. The acknowledgement that we have received something gratifies us, but it by its presence and by the effort to the giver put into choosing it. And second, the gratitude is recognizing that someone of the sources of this goodness lie outside ourself. So one can be grateful to other people, to animals and to the world, but not to oneself. At this stage, we recognize that the goodness in our lives and who we thank for it is something that made sacrifices so we could be happy. And so this is this outer I, outer source and it doesn't so we of course we can also thank ourselves but in this regard there's something higher that also brings us into this general acknowledgement that there is yeah so something for us and so this is why gratitude is yeah in a way such a strong feeling and it's universal actually it's one of the few uh, feelings that every person all around the world any in every culture can relate to immediately. What are forms of gratitude? This is, I find also just good because we have now a word to describe this feeling, but it could also be a little bit more like, um, or we can also call it differently, okay? So it can be like uh, what you want to call it, could be acknowledgement, it could be also Hold on, let's do it. Oops, let's. It could also be appreciativeness. It could be grace, gracefulness, gratefulness. We already said praise, recognition, responsiveness, thankfulness. And so it's just good to know that, yeah, so there are so many forms of it. And so, of course, this is something, this was my easiest slide for today the benefits of gratitude. So you can Google it yourself, of course. There are so many benefits makes you optimistic and giving reduces materialism, psychological well-being for our relationships, social support increased, work performance increased. So there are so many positive things that you can associate with gratefulness. But now the question is, and so I really appreciate and I'm grateful for, your, for you watching this right now. And if you have any comments, let me know. This is the question, so how can we practice gratitude? And so I have some ideas for you that might be helpful for you to practice gratitude every day. So first, this is the idea of affirming gratefulness in the past, present and future. So you have no limits in this regard. You can be say be thankful for something that already happened something that happens to you right now or that will also happen in the future it's so your subconscious mind doesn't make a difference whether a feeling happens in the past or in the present or in the future therefore a list of things you're grateful for could be your family promotion your home also i read this and I think, of course, there's some truth about it. So th also think of the bad. So, of course, we know we, our life hasn't been always easy. So also being re yeah, remembered of what, has, what can also happen. Even everything is great. So, yeah, but how like, the life can so easily be out of balance. And uh, we, of course, all know this, but sometimes we don't remember it. And so therefore, the practice of gratitude is a good ritual. And think for a condition in the perspective to be already fulfilled. And so I would say, don't say I'm so happy that I am not poor and uh, that I am, or yeah, that I am 
uh, not having an accident or something like that because this is of course at the end so you're thinking of the accident so you feel of course go for the already fulfilled desire and for the positive picture here and say okay i'm happy that i'm healthy that i am uh, receiving money in, in in quantities and from other sources like something like this is the idea and some gratitude inspiration this is daniel's special tip i've never found i didn't find it anywhere but this is my personal contribution here for you so just start also being grateful for close ones or relatives who do not currently have the mindset to be grateful i found this was such a game game changer and uh, such a good thing in my personal relationships and of course we meet so many things many great people and we love them um, they um, give us so much but on the other hand sometimes i have uh, people that i know that are not necessarily that grateful for they are rather have the well let's say the, um, the attitude of waiting and saying okay this has to be like this or this otherwise i'm not happy and so just also write a list for people that you are in contact with and that have this attitude that you write it for them and so in this regard you already have your list so if you are in contact with them and so you can in a way either like let it let, say it in a quick in a quick way or you yeah inspire them by just the way you are but you then already have something in mind that you can put into relation with them so that's my personal idea found it so great and it helped me a lot so bob proctor back to bob proctor he says there's also something to be grateful for when things aren't going your way take a few minutes right now to reflect on something you are struggling with then find something about the situation to be grateful for and at the, will also already say it so that is the like say i would say gratefulness 2.0 when you are not only seeing the things that are obviously something to be grateful for but also the problems and see the problems as a yeah challenge as a good challenge and see also what could be positive about it and so what do i mean with that if you don't know something for example to be thankful for um, then think for uh, then it provides an opportunity for you to learn so this and if you don't know something this is so also giving you an opportunity to think and to learn so that is this and then you may choose to be thankful for one of your limitations because it gives you an opportunity for improvement so yeah of course we all have this i have this uh, that we are not so happy about how we reacted where we sort of failed and that is an opportunity to then say okay this is something that i can obviously do and i'm grateful for having the opportunity and if we understand life that we are meeting people that always put us also that are reflecting us our limits our ways of thinking then and this is especially uh, something that we should be grateful for meeting people even if it's sometimes a little bit hard the encounters i have a story for you and this is a, a story that i found super works well in this context so a blind boy sat on on at, on the steps of a building holding up a sign that read i am blind please help he had a hat by his feet and was collecting money as one man was walking by he took a few coins from his pocket and dropped them into the hat he noticed that there were only a few other coins there so he took the sign from the boy's hand and wrote the same words the, the wrote some words on the back then he put the sign back in the boy's hand so that everyone who walked by would see the new words. Soon a lot of more people were giving money to that blind boy and the head began to fill up. In the afternoon the man who had changed the sign returned to see how the things were going. The boy recognized 
his footsteps and asks, were you the one who changed my sign in the morning? What did you write? And the man said, I only wrote the truth. I just said what you said in a different way. I wrote, today is a beautiful day, but I cannot see it. So although the, both signs were truthful, they cover, co uh, conveyed two different messages. The first sign simply said that the boy was blind, while the second sign conveyed to everyone walking by how grateful they could be to be able to see. And on this regard, it's also an example for storytelling, I guess. But this is how also thankfulness touches us and even then has like a, great, uh, a higher impact on others as well. So why am I doing this here? <laughs> thank you for watching and uh, thank you for stopping by. If you're seeing this, if you see this now, if you see this in the replay, I would not have gone live if I would not have presented this on a deadline. I know myself and I always want to be perfect and I want this to be really nice and uh, I have seen that live, going live is like something that really jump, lets me jump right there and it is done. So, and I try of course to be at my best, even there might be some, like I uh, might not find the words correctly or something else might not add up, but you got me, right? And the idea is here that of course, while doing this uh, on gratefulness, there's also a possibility also my way to say thank you to you for following for being here as a live audience because I see more and more of you adding up and uh, that is so much appreciated and of course this is yeah also a great thing for me to be grateful for okay so thank you so much and so I want to leave you with the following thoughts from Bob Proctor when life gets tough let gratitude spill over and again, attitude is the composite of feelings, actions, and thoughts, which lead you to better results. And if you start looking for and feeling grateful, the good in also unpleasant situations, your thoughts and your life will rise to a new level. And so this is quoting Bob Proctor. Thank you for yeah being here and... Uh, yeah, had like sh sharing the moment and I would like to yeah just close the session <laughs> today and invite you for tomorrow there's so much going on in our lives of course we have a busy life and so many outside challenges one crisis is catching another we see this currently right now so how to stay rooted within your goals and go for your goals and the life you really want. And I really think Bob Proctor has it all like the best uh, compendium that we can think of right now. So this is why I'm doing this live videos every day. And I also wanted to invite you to a webinar where I am bringing this all together in a few days. And uh, so if you haven't catched up all the episodes, that's totally fine. But feel free to also watch on YouTube. You can in subscribe to the webinar. You find the address to the, to the webinar below in the show notes, as it says. And also, yeah, I would say I wanted to leave you with this idea that, uh, well, when you think, okay, it could be so, so difficult. Yeah, this is life, my friend. So somebody writes here. Thank you very much. And um, thanks for showing up on Twitch. I am getting more and more people watching this on Twitch. I am really happy that this is also a great live network where you can definitely have an impact. And so my friend, I am just closing, but if you're interested in that, I'm inviting you to my uh, YouTube channel where I am, you see the address uh, on the bottom left. So have a look. And so there you find the 13 episodes that I did before I'm doing a mindset 
well challenge every day and a life challenge and i'm showing up uh, like hopefully this week more in the daytime uh, in, uh, during the daytime and the idea is always be thought driven not results driven because if we are making our mind and uh, our well-being dependent on like how much how many things on the to-do list we achieve today this is always getting us the same results you made you might do one thing on the list more than uh, the day before but at the end this is not bringing you the breakthrough results and the idea is to think into the f into the feeling that you would like to have that you would like to the vibration bring yourself into the vibration and then get into the action and if you feel that right now you are frustrated and you're not getting different results or you even not starting because you're afraid and you're say like you you always have something else that holds you back then maybe not doing more or in this way trying harder is the right answer but thinking from a different perspective and this is what this also mindset uh, march idea is all about and also if you have the if the right if you have the right goal and the right idea idea that you are looking for then you are already going into the right direction even if the success is not showing up that easily but you are constantly evolving into this right direction and that's the thing so this is why i am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow okay thank you for your for your attention i have to leave now but if you um, want to see more yeah you see it on youtube and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow okay thank you very much for for being there grateful for for you as an audience and looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye.